Good morning, Farmers of High School. I'm Emily Escobar, and I'm here with Raquel Marino. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Now please be seated. All students must remember that loitering is never allowed in the FHA's parking lot. If you are early to school, you must enter the building. Students are not allowed back into the parking lot during FHT passing period, lunches, or any other time of the day prior to 4 p.m. dismissal, only as you are immediately leaving campus. This includes checking out for the day or going to a dual credit course. This will be a mo video monitor. Don't enter consequence or have your parking pass revoked. Just made the expectations and now get ready to, for the weather with Charlie. Thank you for today's weather. We will expect a high of 90 degrees with somewhat sunny skies and a low of 67. Saturday's weather is looking like a high of 92 with mostly sunny skies and a low of 68 Su Sunday will will somewhat be similar to Saturday with a high of 92 and sunny skies and a low of 69 on Monday we will expect a high of 91 degrees with with partly cloudy skies and a low of 69. Now sending it over to the news desk. Thank you, Charlie. FHS administration wants to remind all students that the district-wide dress code is now in full effect, and students on every campus are expected to be in dress code. Now let's send it over to Tahir with sports. Thank you, ladies. This weekend is shaping up to be major for sports fans with the NFL kicking off in a truly unusual fashion. Today, the Philadelphia Eagles will face off against the Green Bay Packers in Brazil, with also the Dallas Cowboys facing off against the Browns on Sunday. Our tennis team faced off against Wolves Point and did a good job. Today, our cross country team runners are competing in Sulphur Springs. Later on, our volleyball team will take on Van Austin here in the arena with it being Teacher Appreciation Night at 6.30. Meanwhile, our football team will aim, at, aim to bounce back as they go against North Lamar at 7 at Lamar. Welcome to another exciting episode of Tea with McTee where we dive into the world of sports, one conversation uh, at a time. I am your host, Jared McTee, and today, we're scoring a touchdown with a special guest who is <laughs> now to the football field. How do you foster teamwork and a positive team culture among your players? Perfect question. <laughs> hey, that, um, that, so, so for me, it's about it's about a brotherhood. You see that a lot of, uh, on all our on our uniforms, on social media posts, and all those things. So it's about building a brotherhood, and we we've pulled some scripture and and used some of that to help grow that. We've also are using um, the a positive atmosphere and and great creating a positive culture. Um, I'm very big on on let coaches coach and kids be kids. Um, you know, because the coaches are going to have to be negative at times, but I want our kids to always be positive with each other. How do you balance the need for discipline with fostering a positive team culture? That's a, also a good question. Um, you know, discipline, discipline is, is part of being positive. Um, you know, 
being a uh, part of the team, it, it requires everybody to do their part and do what, what's necessary. Um, sometimes we're going to have some guys that stray away from the, the day in and day out, and, and we hope that um, – you know, through that, we're able to to grow a positive atmosphere, and, and by by showing them the discipline and showing them the expectations of what it is to be on a team. Thanks for sitting down with me today. Uh. And seniors, make sure to mark your calendars for the upcoming college workshop applications taking place on Wednesday, September 25th and Tuesday, November 6th. The workshop will run from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. each day. Be sure to bring a computer with you to make sh the most of this opportunity. Don't miss on getting ahead of your college applications. We have new episodes for KFMB Media coming out every week. We have Tea with McT and the Fighting Farmers Co Coaches Show. So scan this QR code and check out everything we have started for this year. Board Game and Chess Club are both starting soon and would love new members to participate in Board Game Club. All you need to do is head down to Ms. Jacob's class and for Chess Club, go to Mr. Webb's room. Also, students, if you don't have interest in either of those, you can also talk to any teacher about sponsoring for your own club. Teachers, please tell your students to check their high school email every day so they do not miss out on important information. If they don't do a credit, then they need to check their high school and call an email every day. Hey students, if you haven't already noticed, our Purple Pack section at games have been really showing up and showing out. If you want to be a part of our Purple Pack, our Stuco has made a video showing off what cheers we do at volleyball games. Stay tuned to watch here. Purple Pack has their own special place, so when you walk in, you want to go up the stairs, and right over there is where we are. Rule number one, captains and seniors sit in the front, and then juniors, sophomores, and freshmen. <laughs> Rule number two, if you're in the purple pack, you have to stand up. Rule number three, make sure you're in theme. Yeah! Rule number four, make sure you know the chance and say them loud. But don't worry, we're about to team to you. Boom A! Boom A! Boom A! Brought to you by KFMB Media. News, News from, from the Ville! Ville.